Look, I know all of you are going to say, why do I waste my time with these haters? They're not worth it. They have no lives. Their life's loses. And you're right. <laughs> but maybe it's because I'm from Brooklyn. I'm Italian. I have uh, that Sicilian thing going, you know, where it's like that Michael Colliel thing, where I just can't allow people to say certain things without fighting back. And I apologize to the people who support the Eight Father who love me, and they, they're just like, Eight Father, you're better than this, you know, be the better person. The truth is in Brooklyn, when you slap us, let's say if someone slaps me in, in my face, even though I'm a Catholic and I'm a Christian, we don't buy into that whole uh, turn the other cheek. We don't. We fight back. If someone slaps me, I slap back, you know, much harder than they slap me. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, I can't change who I am. I apologize. I can't change the person I am. You look at this girl, Veronica. Okay. So she's basically saying, that's right, Richie. She's talking about my video that that about the other hater, dead defense. A hater feels I have a low life and a terrible father in my response. Okay. So Veronica says, that's right, Richie. You tell him. Video games, raise your kids, not real quality time with daddy. Laugh out loud. Keep the kids busy, Richie. Boy, you're almost at 1 million videos. Come on, you're slacking. Okay, so let's just talk about who this girl is, okay? This is a girl who made me understand she was having family issues. She was literally almost in tears with, I don't know what, honestly, what was going on in her life, but I know she has children, and I know she was going through difficult times. I sent her $300. On her, on her birthday, okay, and I made a whole video, I was singing to her, and I dedicated a song to her, and I always treated her like an ape sister, I, I just, she flipped out, for, for some reason, this girl just completely flipped out on me, I don't know why, I never understood it, you know, I don't, I just don't get it, I don't know, this, you know what bothers me is that, let me tell you what bothers me, you know why I get mad, when, I, I don't mind if someone, let's say, never met you before, you're a stranger, which I never met her, but let, let me change that analogy, actually. If I helped someone, it doesn't matter if I met them or not, let's go, let, let's start over. If I helped someone, I don't expect anything in return, but I expect appreciation, I do. You want me to tell you the truth? I Like, like here's an example. If I help somebody, let's say someone is struggling in life, like there was this guy, C. Diddy, okay, he's another ape. His mother passed away. His wife had a baby on the way. That beautiful baby is born. They have a beautiful family. God bless them. Their house burned down. He did In this case, he didn't ask me for help. And I sent him money. I helped him. Okay. He appreciates me. Like every time he sees me you know, online, he always sends a positive comment my way. Hey, father, you're the best. I love you, brother. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with, um, you know, like Jim uh, Nether Netherly. He's another great ape, you know, his daughter needed to get surgery. I donated, you know, a small, a small amount of money. But this guy always treats me with such respect, you know. He always, he always like, says, I love you, brother. He make, he helps me. He sends me these, like, cool pic pictures that he makes of me, like, funny pictures. You know, me with these, uh, I'll be on top of, like, the Empire State Building or something. You know, he, he creates these really cool pics. But it, you know what it is? It's not that I want anything in return. It's just a sign of appreciation. It's a sign of love. And it's because, you know what? I helped you. And you know what? You're my friend. And you, in your way, helped me. It's like one, one uh, you know, hand scratches. The, was it the, I scratch your back, you scratch my back. But in the case of this girl, Veronica, it's like I help her. And not only does she not appreciate me, but she hates on me. She she calls me a terrible father. She she calls me a terrible husband. You know, I mean, I'm, ter I'm a terrible son. Um, it's like, and this is a person who I helped. And it really bothers me. It really does. I wish I could take back that money and just give it to someone who truly needed it. But anyway, look at how I responded. I said to her, why did you become such a hater? You seem like a cool girl. In the beginning, she did. You know, we were kind of on very good terms. Her and this guy Eric. You know, they were. Like, I don't know how they know each other, but they uh, they were always really nice to me. You know, to be totally cool people, and 
it just seemed like uh, they were big supporters of the Eight Father, and it just seemed like we all had the same goals, you know, AMC to Moaz to have life changing wealth and generational wealth for our families and health for our families. It's like, like we're all on the same like page health, happiness, and success. And then she all of a sudden she just switched into this horrible, horrific, mean person. I just don't understand why. I, I, get, I give my children a great life. I'm always with them. It may not seem that way because I make a lot of videos, but I do spend a lot of time with them. Just the other day, it's like, I don't know if you remember this, we all went out to eat. We saw the movie The Invitation. I mean, it's a lot of fun. You know what I mean? They had a wonderful, wonderful summer. I mean, almost every day, if not every day, they're out, you know, in the in the water parks, they're out in the, in the rides, you know, we're out watching movies, getting, you know, all types of food and ice cream and, and, and having a great time. And I just booked Michael's uh, big birthday party coming up uh, in October. My children are very happy, Veronica. And it's just, I really think that you need to just take a look at yourself in the mirror and just figure out, like, why you have so much hate. Have love in your in your heart, not hate.